Church with PJ. Come on, everyone. It's Kids Church with PJ. Let's have some fun. It's Kids Church with PJ. Hey kids, I'm Pastor John, but you can call me PJ, and here we are going to talk about my friend and yours, Jesus. When I was younger, I got to go to this super cool camp. It was a Tim Hortons camp in Kananaskis, Alberta. We got to do lots of cool things there, but one of the things we got to do was ride horses through the forest. Before we went riding, they asked us how much experience we had, or if we had ever ridden a horse. Now, I had ridden a horse a few times at another camp, but I really wanted to impress them, so I lied. I told them that I had ridden horses for like my whole life. So what happened was they gave me the biggest, baddest horse. He didn't listen to me when I wanted him to stop or go or when I told him to go in a certain direction. It was really bad. It was so bad that my horse actually knocked over another horse. We were going up a hill very slowly and there was a little horse behind me with a guy on it and the horse, my horse, decided to stop and it pushed the other horse over the end and this guy on that horse almost got really hurt. Sometimes we pretend that we know things just to fit in. Have you ever lied or maybe just stretched the truth to fit in? Last week we talked about how all problems are like weeds. And in order to deal with those weeds, we can't just pull off the head, but we have to deal with the root. Now, do you remember what is at the root of every single problem? If you said or are thinking something like evil, sin, Satan, the devil, you're right. In Ephesians 6 verse 12, it tells us that there is a battle going on for our lives. And Satan, or the devil, he is doing everything that he can to pull us away from God. Yet God is doing everything he can to draw us back to him. And last week I talked about how God has given us tools in order for us to fight back against Satan and his tricks. But maybe instead of calling them tools, we should call them armor because... Did you hear that? That means that it's time to dance. So whatever you're doing right now, I mean, well, I guess you're watching me, but I want you to stop, stand up, and when you hear the music, dance with me. So just like warriors or knights would go to war, God has called us to fight against Satan and evil. And he doesn't expect us to do it on our own. He gives us pieces of equipment or armor to do it. People often call these pieces of armor the armor of God. And the first piece of armor is found in Ephesians 6 verse 14. And it is the belt of truth. Now, when I say belt, I don't want you to think of something that would hold up your pants. See, when the writer of this book, his name is Paul, when he was writing this, he was writing to people that understood Roman soldiers and what their armor was like. The belt was not something to hold up their pants, but instead it was to hold on all of their armor. It was pretty much the most crucial part of the armor. So when the enemy or Satan is trying to hurt us and pull us away from God, the most important thing we need to wear is the belt of truth. The truth of who Jesus Christ is. And now you may be wondering, well, who is Jesus? The truth is that he is God. He was there before the creation of the world. The Bible tells us that he is the king of kings. There is no other gods greater than Jesus. And he loves us. He loves us so much that seeing Satan trying to draw us away from him, he came into the world as an infant, as a baby. He then lived a perfect life, died on a cross, and came back to life, all so that we could have a relationship with him. That's how much he loves us. So when the devil tries to hurt us, when he tries to trick us into doing something that we shouldn't, we need to wear the belt of truth. We need to remember who Jesus is, that he is God, 
that he is our king, that he is the creator of all things, and that he loves us. Now, before we move on, I want to take a moment to pray that we would never forget the truth of who Jesus is. So let's pray. Jesus, we thank you so much for the truth of who you are. We thank you that you are the creator of all things, that you are our king, that you are greater than anything in this world. And we thank you that you love us so much that you are willing to die on a cross for us. And I pray that we would never forget that. That for all of us watching this video, we would never forget about who you are and how much you love us, that we would always wear the belt of truth. We thank you that even right now, you are with us. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. It is really important to wear the belt of truth. And for today's activity, I was thinking, we can make a belt. But then I had another thought. Uh, that's kind of boring. It would just be like a strip. What would we put on it? So I have a better idea. For today's activity, what I want you to do is I want you to make something. Well, not just anything. I want you to make something that will help you remember the truth of who Jesus is. So you could build something with Lego. You could draw or paint a picture. You could make something with like cardboard and glue and tape. Whatever you want to make is up to you, just as long as it reminds you of the truth of who Jesus is. Then when you're done making it, I want you to get an adult to take a picture and send it to me so that I can share it with our church family. I also don't want you to get rid of it. I want you to put it somewhere that you'll see every day so that every day you're reminded of the truth of who Jesus is. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a fantastic time on Kids Church with PJ. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now. Kids Church with PJ. Come on, everyone. It's Kids Church with PJ. Let's have some fun. It's Kids Church with PJ.